Hi everybody, Nico Gonzalez here, Educator for a Balanced Body. And today we are showcasing the Tower and Reformer and we are gonna integrate them. We're gonna do some cool moves, high kneeling, using the push through bar with springs on the Reformer and just one long purple spring on the top of the tower. Lots of balance work, that core is gonna start to fire and a lot of arms. All right, we are ready to go. Claudia is here to demonstrate the exercises. She is already kneeling, facing the tower. Let's set your equipment up for success. I have a long purple spring hooked at the very top of the tower of power and attached to the push through bar on the top. The long purple is gonna give us a little bit more support than the long yellow, but you are more than welcome to challenge yourself and do the long yellow if you wish. Here we are on the reformer, we have a yellow spring only on the hook. Again, lighter, so that way Claudia is be able to do the range of motion fully. However, as you're gonna see, the balance challenge is greater. Okay, you ready to go? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the push through bar down and I'm gonna slide Claudia closer to the tower. When you're ready, go ahead and grab the push through bar and come up to a high kneeling position. Right away, she is activating the front and back of her body so that, number one, we do not fall, and number two, we're keeping the best alignment. Meaning, here's that yellow spring pulling her back. However, here's the push through bar trying to bring her to the opposite direction. So she is constantly going back and forth internally. While that's happening, the beauty of the integrated reformer tower work is the following. Slowly, with control on your next exhale, give me your best high row. So she's gonna bend her elbow, she's gonna come close to the push through bar, and then slowly lengthen all the way out. So you do about five more of those. Meanwhile, as she moves, the challenge becomes greater, yes? She's gonna want to do what? She's gonna wanna extend her spine, which means she's gonna have to activate the front, the anterior portion of her core, just a little bit more so that she is a rock star statue the entire time, right? Let's do one more to finish. And then the challenge becomes a little bigger. Why? I'm gonna ask Claudia to do this in a single arm. So first, find your balance, take your front arm behind your head, Open your chest to the front. You're gonna take an in-breath, and as you high row, rotate your torso to me. Nice, and then inhale, open it back up to our friends. Let's do that again. Pulling in, and then return. She is doing an amazing job of what? Lovely scapular control, lovely connection in the front and back of her body, and she has this amazing smoothness and finesse of her body as she comes in and out. Let's do one more to finish. Pulling in and then returning back out. Fantastic. Let's bring both hands on, find your center, reset, and now let's open up this back side. Bring your hand back, open your chest to me, in breath, and exhale, let's rotate in, twisting in. So we do both sides for many reasons. One, we wanna be even, but two, Ooh, it might be a different Claudia on this side, right? She might be, this is my superhero side, Nico. I have no issues here. The front side might have been my challenge. But visually, for me, this actually looks really even. Her range is actually bigger on this side as we go. Let's do one more here. Notice how there's always that balancing act of her lower body integrating with her core. Find both hands on, and let's reset for a moment. Yes, so. How about we open up the anterior aspect of our body? Thigh stretch, integrating the tower and the reformer. I want you to imagine a big beach ball behind you and you're gonna go up and over it. So on your inhale, I want you to press the carriage towards the tower, open, expand your chest to ceiling, inhale. As you exhale, lead with your hips, then the torso, then the head is gonna stack last. Yeah, three more of those. Up and over. Yes, there's work, but there's a luxuriousness to this exercise, that opening of the anterior aspect. Open, breathe, and reach the hips. Again, it's hips, torso, head. Here's your final one. Up and over you go. From the back end, you're gonna squeeze and 
and come all the way to the top. Fantastic. Last but not least, let's change our arm grip. Let's come to an underhanded grip or a supinated position. Because of the bar and where we are, it's gonna be a blend of what? Bicep and a low row. So take a breath here and as you exhale, bend and pull. Yes, and then return. If you have that dynamic movement, yes, bring the knuckles up. But if it becomes just a low row, I will take a low row. Let's do four more here. Notice what it's doing to her though. Because she is supinated, it allows her chest to be open. So some of our clients might have a better time in this position versus the overhand position. And that's how we're doing both today, okay? Let's do one more here. In and gently return out. That looks fantastic. I'm gonna hold on to this. You can let go of the push through bar. Come on in. Great job. Thank you for joining us on this Balanced Body video.